What is up you guys? Today's gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how to create cool little animations in After Effects and this is kind of inspired by Cole Bennett because he uses a lot of really cool animations in his music videos and I'm pretty sure they're used with Photoshop but yeah I'm just gonna show you guys how you can do some similar effects in After Effects and this is gonna be on my eye but you can definitely use it in any other parts of the video I'm just gonna show you guys how I use it on my eye okay so I have my clip right here but let's go to effects and presets and search up warp stabilizer and you can definitely stabilize your footage if it's not stabilized already but I'm actually not gonna use warp stabilizer on this one because I feel like it doesn't seem as organic I don't know I don't really like the stabilizer on this footage so I'm just gonna delete warp stabilizer okay so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the pen tool to create strokes so I'm gonna go to the pen tool and I'm gonna make sure the fill is on none so you can go to fill and just make sure it's on the dash so there's no fill and then the stroke you can change it to whatever color you like so I'm gonna keep it at this mint to green color and basically I'm just gonna create a bunch of lines so what I'm doing here is I'm just pressing the shape layer one again just so that it doesn't connect all my pen marks so basically I'm making like a bunch of different diagonal lines Okay, now I'm going to search up bend in effects and presets and put CC bend it on my shape layer. And basically if you drag that bend number to the right, it's going to create these cool little wiggle effects. And so I'm going to scale this down first. And you're going to see that if you play around with the tool, you can create cool little shapes. So basically I'm scaling it down to negative 3 and then and just moving the start and end so it goes right on my eye. Okay, so that's like just one of the ways that you can kind of create a cool little effect. But I'm going to show you another shape layer that I created. Okay, so I'm basically bringing in a pre-composed composition that I already made. Um, and basically it's using the same like techniques that I just explained. But I scaled it up a bit and uh, made some rainbow colors. Okay, so I'm going to just press the eye off for my other shape layer. And then I'm going to create a new camera by going to layer and new camera. And then we'll just press OK. Okay, now let's press that cube, 3D cube button for the shape layer comp one. Okay, so you can go up, up to the top to the fourth uh, effect and it has this little rotating twirl thing. And you can just rotate the shape on the camera. So I'm just going to rotate it so it's kind of like coming from my eye. And then I'm going to scale, press S for scale and just scale it down a lot. So that it kind of would fit in my eye, I guess. Okay, now let's go to effects and bring that bend it onto our shape layer again. And then we can just bring that bend to the right and it's going to make this cool little twirl effect. And I think it's pretty cool. So basically you can just adjust the scale so it matches the eye shape. Okay, now I'm also just going to use the rotating tool again to just make it look like how I want it to look, I guess. And it's going right on the eye. Okay, now let's search up turbulent displacement in effects and preset. And you can see that it will kind of twirl it and you can play around with the shapes and stuff. I'm just going to keep it at like 108 I guess. I don't know. You don't really have to adjust the amount. But I'm going to go to the random seed so we can animate this. And I'm going to press the keyframe button in the beginning of the clip. In the, and then at the end of the clip I'm going to keep the random seed at 0. And the middle I'm just going to keep it at like 12. Okay, so now it will sort of twirl and animate. Okay, you can see this little like white dot and I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to adjust the bend it so that it kind of disappears. Okay, so basically you can play around with those tools. There's probably a lot you can do with it and you can kind of animate the shapes to make cool little effects. Okay, now what you can do is you can kind of track the shape to your eye. So I'm going to go back to my eye clip and then I'm going to go to window and press tracker so it opens up the tracker window. And then I'm going to go to track motion. And then basically you just want to find a spot that is easily uh, trackable. Meaning like it's something that stands out in the clip. And luckily I have this little mark on the bottom of my eye. So like yeah that works perfectly. But you can probably use um, your eye or just something in the clip that can stand out so that it's easily trackable. Like you don't want to just track a random spot on your skin. And then you just want to move it there 
and then set the target on that mark and expand the rectangle so so that the tracking will be more precise and then we're gonna go to layer and create a new null object and then we'll go to the null object and we'll press edit target and we'll make sure the motion target is on null too and then we'll go back to our clip and then go to analyze and, pre and press that play button so now we'll start tracking our object okay so once it's done you're gonna press apply and then press OK and then now you can see it creates all these keyframes okay so if you go to the null object and you press U you can see that there's a bunch of keyframes for the position and this is all the tracking info that we used on our clip so now I'm gonna go to my shape layer with with my little animated shape and I'm gonna go to the under parent where it has the pick whip tool and I'm just gonna pick whip it to the null object Okay, now if we watch it back, it's trying its best to like follow the tracking and it's trying to animate well, but yeah, it's looking pretty good and I think I'm liking it, so yeah. But if you had Warp Stabilizer, the tracking probably looked a lot better. Okay, now I'm just going to turn that eye off and I'm going to work with what we made in the beginning. So I'm just going to turn the eye off for my shape layer we created and turn it on for our first shape layer. And basically for this animation, I'm going to show you guys a different technique you can use. Instead, for this one, I'm going to use the technique that would have probably been used if you used Photoshop to create cool animations. So what they usually do for these kinds of animations is they use Photoshop and, and uh, save the thumbnail. And they go frame by frame to create an animation. And I think that's so much effort. So what you can do is kind of go frame by frame in After Effects instead. And then just press Command Shift D to create cuts. And with every cut or frame, you can kind of move the object or shape. And if you do this long enough, it'll create a cool little animation. So you can just keep splitting the clip and moving the shape around in random ways. Or just following the eye of the video. And yeah. Or we can also do... And it might be easier for you if you don't want this to be such a messy little timeline is you can just not split the clips and I'm just gonna show you that you can go to the position and press the keyframe button for the position and just go and press command and the right arrow key and just move it slightly so that it kind of animates but honestly I kind of like the look of splitting the clip because I guess keyframing the position kind of makes the animation look not like an animation it kind of looks more smooth and accurate I guess but you can do what you want so yeah I hope you guys use a little bit of these techniques and ideas in this tutorial to create cool animations of your own so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys